ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Now, because of like, you know, 50 Cent constantly poking the bear and going at Diddy, Stevie J, honey, he done came out of nowhere and he's trying to have his best friends back, okay? Again, Stevie J, very talented man, um, beat maker, producer. Honey is probably one of my favorite songs that Stevie J has produced. I've always given Stevie J his props when it comes to music, okay? He is bad boy. Just like Mason Biggie, um, he kept bad boy running, okay? But it just it doesn't negate all this stuff that's going on, okay? So... Stevie J wanted to fight 50 Cent. So we're going to go ahead and uh, he's, he's tired of 50 Cent poking fun, at, poking fun of him and Diddy. So we're going to watch this really quick. Give me just a second. Okay. So we're going to listen to what Stevie J has to say to 50 Cent. Okay. I'll I'll be go. Go. I want you to fade, fade nigga. Fuck, Fuck all that. that. Since it's entertainment. Let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Did she look gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod dick? How we go? I want you to fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling, I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Curtis. Not that ashy beard. <laughs> give the camera 50 feet, sir. Okay? Um, you know, he's he's always trying to get a check. That's one thing he going to do is try and get a check. So 50 Cent replied. The reason why he was replying to 50 Cent is because 50 Cent posted this. He says, new documents show that Diddy's um, allegedly used videos of Stevie J having intercourse with another man to groom men into having sex. So 50 Cent was posting this. And again, I don't, you know, like I said, we ready to bunk this. So this is some gay porn star. This was not Stevie J. We, you know, debunked this a while ago. So I don't know why 50 Cent was using that as a receipt. That wasn't a live, that wasn't a reliable receipt. So now 50 Cent has come back. And he's doubling down on the trolling of Stevie J. So let me share this here. So he posted this on his page and it says, Jocelyn Hernandez accuses Stevie J of gay porn addiction. Uh, Stevie J, Jocelyn calling me gay doesn't bother me. It's a fade, nigga. I'm sorry, 50 Cent is just petty. So he had posted that. Let me see what something else he posted. Uh, receipts, Jocelyn accuses Stevie J of being gay. And then he posts, Diddy surfaces in public again, speaks on camera with Stevie J in tow. Okay, so he's still trolling Stevie J. And then as of 10 minutes ago, Stevie J just did an interview with TMZ. That's what took me a few minutes i had to get that clip really quick so we're gonna watch this here give me just a second we're gonna watch this stevie j clip uh where he spoke to tmz he's coming with the cape to you know take up for his bff diddy all right give me just a second to set this up and he's also once again calling out 50 cent all right, here we go. I don't know what my, whatever someone does in their bedroom, that's what they do. I don't got nothing to do with that. I'm just here to say that I've never seen my man doing anything foul like they talking about. None of it. All of it. I, I mean, I, you know. I, I've never seen it. I've known him for 29 years. And then it's like with guys like, like 50, you know what I'm saying? Like Uncle Tom cats like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you now you want to put me, I don't know if y'all saw the post when 50 posted about me, of course you guys. Yeah, yeah. 
He's yeah, a, I mean, Finley has um, been going after Diddy and everybody associated with him for months now, ever since the Cassie lawsuit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you can't brush under the rug. I, I don't see anybody um, um, reporting about what um, Tatted Up Holly said about him beating her up and about, you know what I'm saying, his other baby mom said beating her up. I just look at it as, you know, he wants to bring the black community down worse than anyone else. How How is that so? I say what I said on my post and I'm standing on that too. Now, since he didn't accept what my offer to him, and he want to continue to be a comedian, why don't you go make some movies with Michael Blackson and don't talk about me? Hey. If you don't want to fight, if you don't want to donate to charity, donate your bread to charity and fight, don't, don't stop being a girl and talking about dudes. I find it funny that when they first cru try to crucify somebody, they go through the media first, and they're just flooded with lies and propaganda. I'm not concerned about this nigga Curtis. I mean, this dude Curtis. You know what I'm saying? He's Uncle Tom, and that's just what it is. I'm gonna speak on a thousand percent of what I know to be true about my guy. My spirits are up. He's spending time with his children and his mother. You know what I'm saying? I'm working out. You know, he's, he's doing very well. I've known this guy for 29 years. See, I'm not just a guy off the internet trolling. I'm a first-hand witness. Stevie, it's my understanding that when the raid went down in Miami, you were were you on Star Island or were you actually at Diddy's house? I know you were in Miami. I was I was uh, I was at his crib working in the studio. I was sitting outside the studio door and I heard a big boom. Now mind you, before we get into this, I'm 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 not a spring chicken even though I look fly and you know, stuff. But I've witnessed some historical events of of excessive force, but none like this since um Saddam Hussein or ah. Pablo Escobar. He, Okay, we, we're definitely going to get into this excessive force conversation because I am so tired of this, but we're going to let Stevie J keep on talking. Even Osama Bin Laden, I heard a big boom. So I'm thinking like, you know, a lot of people do work on the island all day long, so I'm figuring someone drops some materials. Heard it again. Turn my head, I'm hearing do, 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 do. Armored vehicles, three big armored vehicles come. Dudes jump out, I got 50 dots on my shirt. Screaming, yo, get on the ground. I'm like, yo, really? I'm the only one here. Took me outside, I asked to speak to the higher ups. I asked was under arrest. And they said, no, you're being detained. I want to speak to the higher ups. Spoke to the higher ups. Um, I said, am I under arrest? They said, no, you're not. Let me let you go. Boom, let me go check your bags. You don't have any weapons and all. I'm like, I don't have any weapons. Stevie, what did they take from the house? Were you able to see? I saw, I saw them take like a bag, a bag of uh, one bag. Well, did did they take electronics? Because they did in Los Angeles. I'm sure they took um, some um, electronics, some of the camera stuff and all that. Probably they didn't want um, him to get a look at what they were doing in his crib, like how they came with the armored trucks. Of course, they took all that stuff. All right, so get the fuck out of here. Let me get back on the screen. All right, so y'all just heard what Stevie J had to say. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us in tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sir, your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.